Right there, you have it. <coughs> oh my God! Excuse me. My voice and throat still hurt after screaming about Morales being back. Okay. There you have it. That was season eight, episode two of The Walking Dead. amazing episode super fast paced super just i loved it i loved it i loved it i loved it again we're always gonna be talking about the the ammo thing and that's always gonna be an issue but you know it's there's so many other things in life to worry about and like, I'm trying to enjoy a TV show. I'm not really going to be that nitpicky about things like ammo and stuff. And when hearing the explanations about some of the things, like in the premiere, I heard that the reason they shot out the windows was so that they couldn't get up on the ledges and mount a counterattack. Most people are like, why are they wasting ammo on the windows? I thought that too. I just didn't say anything, but I was thinking that too. I'm like, that seems kind of dumb that they're just shooting the windows. But once I heard that explained, I'm like, okay, that makes sense. They just didn't want to stop shooting because if you stop shooting, as you notice with Father Gabe, then they were able to start shooting back. So, um, yeah. Uh, I'm... I like Ezekiel's confidence, but I feel like it's going to get the better of him eventually, and that's going to be very unfortunate. Rick fighting that dude, again, it was choppy, but then finding out that he was protecting a baby? Oh, my God. And then Morales... Ugh, don't even get me started on uh, Morales. Don't even get me started. I have been wanting him back since he left, and now he's back. I wonder if he's going to care if Rick tells him that Negan killed Glenn. Because, I mean, Morales was there when Glenn was there, so, I mean, he remembers him a little bit. I hope they don't just kill him off, though. That'd be dumb. They need to keep him around now. But, oh, this episode was so good. Just action pack, start to finish. Yeah, it was like the systematic clearing out of the outposts, Morgan and them getting gunned down, but the other two not having as much protection, so they died and then he didn't. thought that was kind of interesting. And then not killing Jared really pissed me off. In, in Skybound's uh, compilation, one of the first or one of the only scenes that I had in the trailer one was right after they showed Jared, and I was like, that mother needs to die. <laughs> But I, I finished saying it when Jadis showed up, so people might have thought I was talking about Jadis. No, I was talking about Jared. I mean, Jadis, you know, she's kind of weird, but she's she makes the show kind of interesting, as well as most of the other people do. But, yeah, I don't want to talk people's ears off because, to be honest, I'm not amazing at looking super, super in-depth into things after just one viewing. I usually like to view it a couple times before I start thinking about that, but... I mean, if, if people want in-depth reviews of the episodes and stuff, I can do that. But I personally prefer just, like, my quick afterthoughts about it and that kind of thing so that I can get the – so I can get them uploaded before I go to bed. That's the ultimate goal is to have them out as soon as I can. But, yeah, oh, it was just – this episode blew my mind. And I am hoping the rest of the season continues to do so. But from the previous for next week, it looks like it's things are going to start not going in our favor as much, which it's going to be unfortunate. But, you know, it is what it is. War has casualties. And I'm surprised that Eric was still standing in the trailer for next week. But, you know, they've they've deviated from the comics a little bit. So I will be interested to see where they're going to go. And the whole moral dilemma between Tara and Jesus, I like that too. 
because they both they both brought up very valid points. So I feel like they. I feel I feel like it wasn't it didn't feel unnatural. It felt like a natural debate between them. So I like that. Yeah, I don't have a ton more talk to talk about right now. So I think I'm gonna wrap things up and start getting this edited so I can get this up. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Let me know what you think down below. Are you happy Morales is back? Cause I sure am. And yeah, let me know what you guys think is gonna happen next week. Honestly, I feel like a lot of people are probably going to think this episode was a little better than the premiere, but that's okay because everyone has their own opinions and tastes. Honestly, I usually need to watch an episode a couple times before I can really like think about it that much. <laughs> but yeah. Leave your thoughts, comments down below. Subscribe if you have not already. I just realized today that I had 500 subscribers. That's freaking awesome. I never thought I'd even hit 100. But, you know... 500 is awesome and i hope it continues to grow from there but thank you to all of you that have been watching over the years and that have continued watching or that just started watching it means the world to me and yeah i just i've never made like a like a thank you video for subscribers because this is the first time that i've actually been like oh wow like i didn't really realize what, like when i hit 100 it kind of flew past 100 pretty quick and i didn't really think about it much because i think it was around the time of the premiere last year because that video blew up and so uh i didn't really notice it but i was pretty close to 500 for a while now and i just passed it today or not passed it i think i'm right on it or right uh either right on it or somewhere around there but yeah it's it blows my mind but again thank you very much for watching as always, this has been Jack from Group of Gamers Inc. 194, and I am out. Peace. Morales! Holy shit! What?